Assalamu alaikum friends this is Samia from Civil Engineers and today uh, I have a topic uh, difference between main bars and distribution bars and its function in RCC slave from many days I saw some comments and comment section and many students they are asking about this topic that sir what's the uh, difference for main bars and distribution bars and also what's the function of main bars and distribution bars in RCC slave so therefore today we decide this topic so let's start if this video is helpful for you so must like this video and subscribe the channel for more civil engineering updates so the first one is difference for main bars and distribution bars or what's the difference between main bars and distribution bars so here main reinforcement are main bars normally used at the bottom of the slab and distribution bars placed on the top of the main bars so you can simply define and it's a uh, it's a simple definition of main bars and distribution bars if a person asks from you that what is main bars you can say that uh, main bars normally used at the bottom of the slab and distribution bars placed at the top of the main bars so here this is a, a diagram for this you can see uh, in cross section this is rcc slab and you can see uh, here the main bar so main bar is at the bottom of the slab you can see this is at the bottom of the slab and this is distribution bars and distribution bars placed on the top of the main bar you can see here these are dots these are distribution bars so i have already discussed that uh, distribution bars placed on the but in on top of the main bar so you can see this is main bar and this is distribution bar it's placed on the top of the main bar right it's simple definition or you can also uh, define it that uh, main reinforcement bars are placed in the shorter direction and distribution bars placed in longer span direction in rcc slab so look here this is diagram this is short span and this is longer span and this is rcc slab this is main rod or you can see a uh, main bars you can also see main bars are main rod it's also called a distribution rod or distribution bars okay this is shorter span and this is longer span and i have already discussed that main bars placed at the shorter span so this is shorter span and this is called main rod or main bar now this is longer span and distribution bars placed on the longer span you can see this is longer span and we place distribution bars on the longer span and main bars on the shorter span right this is simple definition now what's the function of main bar i've already discussed what is main bar now what's the function of main bar in rcc slab or why we place main bars in rcc slab so this is my question right so function of main bars main bars are placed at the shorter span direction you can see it's shorter span direction now to transfer the bending moment we place main bars shorter span direction to transfer the bending moment developed at the bottom of the slab to the beam means we provide or we place the main reinforcement because main reinforcement transfer the bending moment developed at the bottom of the slab to the beam so now you have a question what is bending moment so you can simply define bending moment that bending moment is a force uh, you can simply say that bending moment is a force uh, which uh, bend a structure which make a bend in structure right like this this is for example slab so uh, it makes a slab like this so this is called bending moment right are in beam uh, you can also see here for example this is beam and this is support for beam so this is called bending moment right for beam so this is in slab now function of main bar so here are some points with function of main bars that i have already discussed that main bars placed at the shorter span a direction in the slab now the second one main bars are used at the bottom of the slab i have already discussed here right now here you can see for main bars we select the higher dimension of steel bar in the slab here this is diagram 
so main bars we provide at the bottom of the slab so for that you must provide high or higher die off bar for example if we use 8 mm for distribution bar then use more than 8 mm for example you can use 10 mm for main bars because the main bars dia should be more than distribution bars right so this is main point for main bars we select the high dimension of steel bar and slab right now here the fourth one you can see in one way slab the slab is supported at the direction or on one side right so therefore we should be placed the main bars at the shorter span you can see in one way slab the slab is supported at the one direction already discussed or one side so therefore we should place the main bars in the shorter span right now here I've already discussed what is distribution bar. So now the function of distribution bars. What is the function of distribution bars? Or why we use distribution bars in our CC slab? So therefore we are discussing this. So distribution bars are used. So DB is the acronym for distribution bar. So distribution bars are used in the slab to resist the shear stresses. We use distribution bars in RCC slab to resist the shear stresses. Now you have a question that what is shear stresses? So uh, shear force or shear stresses is a force, right? Which is external or we can say that shear force or shear stress is external force, right? Simply you can define. So because the cracks are developed to the shear, shear stress on the top of the end, it should be placed at the longer span of the slab. So we use distribution bars in RCC slab to resist the shear stress because, because the cracks developed at the shear stress on the top of the slab you can see. So therefore we placed it on the longer span, right? And uh, remember one thing that uh, uh, the uh, distribution bars dia should be less than main bar, right? Now here are some, uh, some points about uh, uh, function of uh, distribution bars so here the first one is distribution bars are placed at the longer span direction in the slab already discussed here distribution bars placed on the top of the uh, uh, top of the main bar right so uh, you can see it it should be on the longer span now distribution bars used at the top of the slab like this and now distribution bars we have to select the lesser dimension of steel because it is just used to resist the shear stresses in the slab and the dia of main bars should be high than distribution bars because we use the main bars to resist the bending moment in RCC slab so therefore the dia should be more than distribution bars and distribution bars we can simply say that distribution bars used to resist the shear stress so this is the uh, main uh, difference between main bars and distribution bars so uh, you can also see its uh, diagram this is its cross section and this is the top section uh, for RCC slab so you can make a screenshot from this what is main bar and what is distribution bars a bars which we use uh, or which we placed on the shorter direction it's called main bars and a bars which we used on the longer span so it's called distribution bars so this is the simple definition of uh, main bars and distribution bars and now you can see here uh, this is uh, uh, cross section because I have already discussed that main bars should be uh, placed at the bottom of the RCC slab and distribution bars should be placed on the top of the main bar so this is main bar at the uh, at the bottom of the slab and this is distribution bars you can see the points these are distribution rods here you can do the clear clear difference right main bars and distribution bars right now uh, this is the other if you uh, you need the notes of this so you can make a screenshot from this make a screenshot and it will be easy for you to take it
but remember guys uh, these videos uh, uh, which i'm uh, making on this youtube channel you must share these videos with your friends because it's very important right so you can read it or you can make a screenshot from every part